Hello Taurus, welcome to your love readings. Today we're gonna to be talking about who or what is coming towards you and what do you need to know about that situation or that particular person? So let's jump right in. Spirit angels, guides, messages please for Taurus. Who or what is coming towards Taurus? Spirit, who or what is coming towards Taurus? Let's see what we have. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Wow, and the Tower. So something sudden with the Tower and the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is very quick communication or quick action. Now the Two of Pentacles is interesting though to me because I think of back and forth energy, a decision, um, having to choose between two things or deal with more than one thing at once. So let's see what else we need to know about what's going on here. What's the overall energy for what's coming towards Taurus? Overall energy, please. What's coming towards Taurus? Reach out, contact, exchange, touch. Take the initiative to reach out. What's the overall energy was coming towards Taurus. Past life, memories, a past life, nostalgia. You've had a connection with this person in the past. It could be a past life connection, someone you've already dealt with, um, or it could be someone from your recent past here. What else? What else for Taurus? What's the overall energy for what's coming towards Taurus? So I feel like you're definitely gonna get some sort of communication here. Maybe unexpected with the tower. What do we need to know for Taurus? We need to know. Flirt, send your lighthearted energy to others. So when I say flirt with reach out, I think of something that's not a very serious conversation. Maybe there's um, something that someone talks to you about that's very lighthearted. Um, but I feel like there's more to this. It's almost like it begins as something lighthearted, something that's not very serious because they don't want to like bring that energy into the first interaction that they have with you. So very low key, very friendly um, kind of contact at first here is what I'm feeling. Okay, so let's get some insight here. Tell me more about these energies for, for Taurus. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? What's this about? Oh, that was the Hermit. The Hermit, Virgo energy, and the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. You know, it's like someone's going back and forth about like how much they should tell you. Because the Hermit is very quiet, introspective. They're thinking about, you know, inwardly what, what they want to do. They're not very expressive. The Hermit, very quiet energy. The King of Swords is the opposite very direct to the point. So I feel like someone's kind of debating with themselves here. How open can they be with you? Should they even communicate? Can I get one more please? For the two of pentacles. The nine of cups because they want something. <laughs> Whoever this is, they have a goal in mind, something that they desire that relates to you Taurus. There's the Emperor, Aries energy at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like they want to achieve something. This person, they're debating with themselves about how to communicate with you because they're they're thinking of some sort of goal or outcome. You know, it's like they want something from you. And it doesn't have to be like a negative thing, you know, but that's just is what I'm seeing here. What why is the eight of wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Wheel of Fortune, oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel like this, there's something very sudden about this, but it's almost like it had to happen that way. Wow, the Six of Cups. I feel like there's, there's a past person coming forward at a certain time. Um, there's something here about timing with the Wheel of Fortune 
The Eight of Wands is again quick communication, action that's very like fast. But when I see the Six of Cups, which is the past energy, and the Wheel of Fortune, which is wheels in motion, events that are set in motion that feel like they're a lucky break or a fortunate opportunity. Let me get one more. Spirit, can I get one more for this Eight of Wands, please? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like someone is doing this quickly. This could be a soulmate. The Lovers is at the bottom of the deck here. Gemini energy with the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. I think of like past soulmates. Um, I'm getting something like, you know, maybe this is out of the blue, but also very fortunate at the same time. It like it leads, it could lead to a Ten of Pentacles, something stable, something long lasting. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here sort of for Taurus? The hangman, okay. Why is the tower? Okay, we have the page of cups. So I think this is communication, someone expressing um, themselves to you with the page of cups, eight of wands, king of swords. Um, maybe it's an apology as well. Page of Wands. Yeah, so this is somebody coming in hot. There's a Six of Wands. Very focused, whoever this is that's coming in with this Tower energy. Um, I feel like they thought a lot about this before they do it with the Hangman. Maybe this is somebody that tells you that they're seeing things differently after some time. And that has wanted, like it's made them want to come forward now. This could definitely be a past life connection for some of you here. Um, I don't think that it has to be someone that you had a connection with in this lifetime. Because it's happening almost as if by luck or by magic or like serendipity with the Wheel of Fortune. The timing is just right or feels right. So it's very interesting that we have timing with communication and the tower, which is very sudden, abrupt revelations, things that are almost like toppled over. I'm getting like a very calculated energy about this, but it's, it doesn't, I don't mean calculative. It doesn't have to be calculative in terms of like manipulative, right? I just feel like someone has really thought this through. Whoever's coming towards you, they're doing it after thinking about it and thinking about the best way they could do it. So let's see, what do you need to know about whoever's coming forward or what do you need to know about the situation? What does Spare want to tell us for Taurus? Let's see. Spirit, what does Taurus need to know about who or what is coming towards them? What does Taurus need to be aware of, Spirit? Any clarity, any guidance for Taurus? What do they need to be aware of? What do they need to be aware of? Wow, the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Cups. And the Page of Cups, yeah. Very similar energy as before with the Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups, they show up again. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. So Taurus, I feel like someone's coming towards you that could lead to a whole new cycle here with this Ace of Cups. New love, a new beginning in love, a new start, um, something that's very fulfilling emotionally, very satisfying, especially with the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups together. This is like ultimate like satisfaction, like you have everything that you could possibly need or want. And I think it's with this page of cups, whatever this page of cups represents, whether it's an apology or it's just someone opening up, telling you that they're interested in you, it's gonna lead to something very fulfilling. 
However, I, I see you questioning it. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Or perhaps this is your the other person's energy. Maybe they're worried of, about rejection. Because the Four of Cups is a card about um, disinterest, dissatisfaction. Um, and so you focus on the wrong things. You don't focus on the opportunities in front of you. Instead, you focus on what hasn't worked out. So I could take, I could interpret this in three different ways, right? The first way that I can interpret this is, this is coming at the time at a time where you're not happy or fulfilled. It's an opportunity that's being presented to you, and it's up to you to grab it. Number two, this could be that someone's worried that they'll make you an offer, and you're just not interested. And number three, it could be that um, there's an offer that comes in and you reject it, right? Those are the three ways that you can really interpret this. Um, completely up to you. Let's clarify and see what else we get here. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. For Taurus, tell me about this Ace of Cups. The Six of Swords. Okay, so the Six of Swords is all about transitions. It's about leaving the past behind, leaving difficulty behind, and going somewhere more stable, more calm, a better environment. Page of Swords is here. So I think this is something that, when you really think about it, it's, it's, it's the best course of action or the best journey you could be on right now. Because the Page of Swords is very curious, very analytical, very intelligent. Um, they like to do research. So I see you thinking about this. But I think this is what's best for you. The Empress is at the bottom of the deck. So there's a lot of potential here for growth, for expansion. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Nine of Cups, please. Wow, the chariot. Cancer energy headed in a whole new direction here. The, on the road to success, on the path to success, there's a goal that you want to kind of move towards. And it's, 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 it's a successful goal. I feel like it's a goal with a lot of promise. There's six of swords in the chariot. There's movement. I feel like this is setting you on like a new trajectory, right? Like you're on a new path somewhere new headed somewhere new somewhere that's different that also tells you taurus that to have this opportunity it might require a move on your part so for example there has to be some sort of initiative on your part or you need to be willing to get into the chariot and make the move towards a whole new cycle with whoever this is with this page of cups right tell me about the nine of cups the lovers wow <laughs> gemini energy again yeah this is a partnership it's like a partnership that's everything you could want that that is on the road to success that leads to something good tell me about the page of cups tell me about the page of cups about the page of cups the page of wands shows up again this is interesting to me because i'm thinking about this flirt card this could be somebody that starts being your friend or they you notice them because you laugh about something or you have a similar sense of humor or like it, it starts off something to be that's very playful and lighthearted, but there's more to it tell me about the page of cups Wow, the Empress again. Like, I don't even need to clarify anymore. Um, I feel like someone recognizes you or appreciates you, appreciates what you bring to the table, recognizes your worth. Um, there's something here about, like, someone being um, understanding of, like, who you are. And it's like they want you because of that. I know that you are this kind of person. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Yada, yada. Spirit, what else do we need to know for Taurus? What does Taurus need to be aware of, Spirit? What does Taurus need to be aware of? 
thoughts. So this is somebody that's thinking about you. And also thinking hard about like what they want with you. Lovers at the bottom of the deck again. You know, I feel like this is somebody that you start off as friends or you already have some sort of history or there's like an interest there that develops over time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it, it, it's moving them to take some sort of action towards you because this page of cups is like waiting for you. Of course, it'll be up to you to accept it or not, but I feel like this is a love that would be completely like a whole new path, a whole new cycle, a whole new direction, right? Like this is not going back to the same place, right? Because that's not the Six of Swords in the Chariot. This is movement forward. 